Welcome to our lecture online. Now here we have a very interesting contraption. We have a small object that has a mass of 5.8 grams that contains positive charge equal to 68 microcoulombs, but it's attached to a string and that string is attached to a wall. There's an electric field that's directed at an angle upward. The angle is 37 degrees relative to the horizontal. And if the string is perfectly horizontal, what will be the strength of the electric field to make that happen? So that's what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find the magnitude of that field that will put that charge just so that the string will be perfectly horizontal. How do we do that? Well, first let's identify all the forces acting on that charge. The first force, of course, would be due to the electric field, and that will be in the same direction as the electric field. So let's call that F sub E, the force caused by the electric field. Then, of course, it has mass, and so therefore there's a force of gravity pulling it downward. So we'll call that Mg, pulling it downward. And then finally, there's a tension on the string pulling it in this direction, so let's call that T. But everything should be at equilibrium, nothing should be moving, and if that's the case, the sum of those three forces should add up to zero. So let's draw those forces graphically. So we have the force going in this direction, which is the force due to the electric field. We have a force going in this direction, which is the force due to the weight. And then we have a force going this direction, which is due to the tension on the string. And you can tell by looking at the drawing here that this angle here is theta, which is 37 degrees. Now, we should be able to come up with a relationship between these three. We can see here that we don't know the tension, but we do know the weight because we know the mass, and we can figure out the force due to electric field because we know that the equation tells us that the force due to electric field is equal to the charge times the strength of the field. And since Q is known, we can somehow figure out what E will be equal to when we solve this problem right here. I think what we want to do is do the following. We want to relate these two to each other. That's the hypotenuse. That's the opposite side to the angle. So we'll start with the definition that the sine of the angle theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And in this case, the opposite side will be mg, and the hypotenuse will be the force due to the electric field, which is mg divided by q, oh, that should be a q, times the strength of the field. So now we have the sine of theta equal that. So we have the sine of theta is equal to mg divided by q times e. Now we're going to bring the e up here and the sine of theta down here. So the strength of the electric field therefore is equal to mg, the weight of the object, divided by q times the sine of theta. And now we have the equation that allows us to solve for the strength of the electric field. So this is equal to the mass, which is 0 0.0058 kilograms. Multiply the times g, which is 9.8 meters per second square. Divide by q, which is 68 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs, times the sine of theta, which would be the sine of 37 degrees. Now let's get a calculator in here and figure out what that's equal to. So 0 0.0058 times 9.8 divided by 68 e to the 6 minus divided by, take the sine of 37, equals, and it looks like 1,389 newtons per coulomb. 1,389 newtons per coulomb is the strength of the electric field required to get that string to be perfectly horizontal. And that's how it's done.